my name is Vera Mulyani. I'm the founder and CEO of Mars City Design. I'm also the professor for Loyola Marymount Systems Engineering class called Occupy Mars. We are here today at the Los Angeles Griffith Observatory to congratulate the winning teams of Mars City Urban Farming Challenges 2020. They have delivered fantastic projects. You can take a look at them now. The third winner for Mars Architecture category, Mars Shambhala, by Shang Zhen Cheng, Yu Ting Li, and Chia An Ye from Tonghai University in Taiwan. The second winner for Mars Architecture category, the Molecule Research Lab by Jaslyn Goodrell from India and Los Angeles. The first winner for Mars Architecture category Sprout by Giuseppe Calabresi from Australia and Italy. The arms will be capped with 3D printed Nubian vaults with glazing, permitting natural light penetration. The plant's main source of light will be from LEDs alimented from solar collectors. The greenhouse cylinders will provide bio waste to the green powerhouse. The third winner for Mars Agriculture Engineering category is Martian Hive by Alexander von Bieler and Alekan Gottman from Bödecker Partners Landscape Architects in Germany. What can we do to also improve life on planet Earth? At the way we construct the ways we sort of respect our natural environment. So if we can get these principles right on planet Earth and we can create a system for this, then I'm sure we're going to be capable enough to, to grow a better future on other planets. The second winner for Mars Agriculture Engineering category, the Mars Colony One by Yulia Akisheva, Durdevic Alexa, Nenadic Nenad, Benjamin Potier, an international the team. Greenhouse middle section. You've already seen the algae bioreactors. You can see that this could be a space for work, maybe even to relax with a book, because it's also better protected from radiation due to the extra hydrogen rich materials around one. An innovative crop selection and a first tower on Mars, so it's a very exciting project for us. And the first winner for the Mars Agriculture Engineering category, Justin's Food Production Systems by Justin Perkeve from Seattle. A total of 1,450 meters squared just to feed nine people. At a high level, we've attempted to lay out a solid engineering foundation for the entire Mars Settlement Program with all the future work identified that is necessary for a larger team to turn this into reality. The network of ribs in a lily pad represents the closed loop system of the farm structure. The first winner for the design category, the Mars Spine by Mohammed Ahmed from Power Egypt. Out of solar panels, arrays and water extraction. The farm external pad is provided with a solar panel system to generate energy out of the sunlight. The Voronoi structure of the farm envelope is provided with Himawari system of a fiber optic system that uses tracking fresh lenses. The second winner for the design category, Protests by Mohammed Montazeri and Elham Mirzapur from the Arena Design Studio, Iran. The winner of the most favorite project of Mars City Design Challenges 2020 
and the third winner of the design category. Barkin City by Khaled Alaban from Dubai. That act as the main circulation method across the city. Barkin City's unique concept to house humans and plants to create an independent plant-centric community makes it a sustainable and efficient design that could become the first city on Mars. I'm just really proud of our multidisciplinary teams that are coming from around the world to unite and to give some solutions of what it is food growing in another planet that can actually solve the sustainability issues that we have here today for our climate change on Earth. So congratulations teams. We really enjoy every creativity that you contribute this year towards the competition. I would like to sincerely thank our guest speakers who are here today to support all of us and to inspire each of us to go to the next level in terms of designing civilizations for Mars. Thank you.